Hello everybody, it's Steve. Welcome back to Railway Empire 2. In the last video started off my East Coast Conquest chapter in the game. We connected Boston to Albany all the way up to Bangor, Maine, way up here. I did have a theory, or a thought I should say, in between videos. I've got Portland, Maine, and I've got my Jackson Farm over here, but I can also build a warehouse in this city if I was thinking about this. We have university, museum, library, but if I go with a... Hmm, I'm going to train station proper. I can extract an extension. Hmm, no I can't. Odd. Okay, honestly my thought was... Get a warehouse in here. That way I can bring materials from Jackson Farm to Portland. Does Portland have a need for sugar right now? They do, actually. So I could hook up Portland to the sugar supply and get that going as well. So I also want to do that, but also this video, I want to hook up Syracuse to Albany through Sawyer Terminal-ish. Because I've got the train station on this side here, I'm probably not going to be able to build more tracks over here. I'd have to come down on this side of it and go around. So my thinking, dangerous for me, you know, is let's go ahead and build my train station in Syracuse. I'm going to build a kind of an east-west orientation to come over the river quickly and kind of follow that road. And I could come down this way and hook into Buffalo as well. I'm going to keep the game on pause because it's still something I'm able to do in this game. So let's say contour lines are pretty decent here. I'm going to do like that. There we go. Turn off my contour lines and let's get some track laid. And we're going to do some fun stuff here. I'm going to bring the track down and actually go right through this section before I swing it off towards Syracuse. So let's go ahead and do this. There we go. Haha. -ha. We come through here. I'm going to swing out this away. I'm going to try to follow along with these. There you go. I'm trying to stay on the, the contours here. See, if I go, like, just straight over to Syracuse like that. Not too terrible. That's actually pretty good. I like it. Considerably. Alright, then I'm going to do a parallel track here. It's going to follow right along with it. No serious tunnels have to be built. You have to build a small bridge. Just widen that one out. Build that up. Cool. So we got that going. And again, you can do all of this while paused. It's just an issue of you have to make sure that you're eventually going to be bringing in some money to support yourself. Next up, Buffalo. And this one's going to go through these farms. And I'll explain why here in just a second. Also, check a look at the... There we go. I can work that perfectly. Right, so do here. Then, can I actually go on this side? No, I gotta go through here. I want to do that because... I want both of them to be able to reach. Wait, can I do like this? Ooh, I can. Do that. Okay. Turn off my contouring. And now, we're gonna do... This to here. Parallel it. And I'm actually going to do a third. Now from Cooper Station, we're going to go up to Syracuse with just two of the tracks. And if I just take it all the way up here, and I want this to eventually be a through line, but let's see what we need to do here. Probably like that. I like that a little bit. So there's going to be a little bit of a cut in here in the terrain. I'm just going to get the contour lines for this. So we'll kind of come down along here. You need to actually move this guy just a little bit. I'm trying to move this guy just over a little bit. So it's not a really 
sharp bend on the turn. Um, this section, I'm not going to lie, I kind of want to bring it down a little bit, but we can't actually have it go that way. And then I'll parallel track it, bring it all the way back this way, same direction. A little more earthworks going. And boom. Through Cooper Station. Let's go ahead and do a gridiron. At Cooper Station, going both directions, and also at Syracuse Station. Wow. I actually have to go pretty far out from Buffalo. Excuse me, I said near Syracuse in error. Now we'll go all the way back up to Syracuse, to both ends of that. I'm also need to hook in my maintenance depots on all these facilities, because there's going to be maintenance needed here, or at least uh, supplies. All right, you're already done up there. Gonna need you there, and we do have you there. Cool. Let's also go ahead and let's talk about a supply tower. Got one there. And I think another one would be needed. I kind of want to say right about in here. Maybe. Maybe in here. I will put one down there, though. And then between Syracuse and Buffalo, probably put one in this area. It's gonna be a pretty good distance between the two. I'm thinking right now that I need to actually build the lines because I'm running low on cash. So I want to go almost express Albany to Syracuse to Buffalo and back. And then I'll do a couple of freight lines as well. So let's go ahead and start that. So we're going to start in Buffalo, Syracuse, Albany, Syracuse, then back to Buffalo. We're going to use my John Bull and... We'll do automatic loading for this one. It's going to take about 20 days to do the entire thing, so it's not going to be considered a full-on express train just yet. Go ahead and get him up and running, and then we'll do another train line, so we can do, again, all this whilst paused. Just that. And this one's going to be freight only. And again, I'm just going to do a mixed this guy. So we got that there. And yeah, I think we're good on that front. Got beer production in both cities, but Buffalo's going to be producing more beer, it looks like, and that's totally fine. And I was thinking maybe if I was going to swing down toward Pittsburgh, I should not have put the Buffalo tracks so close to the water like I did, because I'm going to do a hard turn coming off of that. Let's go ahead and hit play on this one, get this going a little bit. Loud start up on that. So this is going to be our Buffalo to Syracuse mission. The mission's going to be our... Not our mission, it's our train. Oh. While I did that... Let's go ahead and... Make sure we have our tracks lined up correctly. Um... This one I'll have to worry about. Not up here, kind of the same thing. Outbound. Inbound. Make sure these all line up correctly. Yep, we can work with that. Okay, cool. We're on that front. This track should just only be used for freight. This third train, this third line right here. Realistically, I probably didn't even need to hook these ones up, but I'm gonna go ahead and utilize it like that. A lot of passengers and a lot of mail now being shipped over to Syracuse. It's going to go through Cooper train station, which is totally fine. This one's actually taking a lot of corn. Hmm. I was going to think that the... You know, what do you need for beer? You take wheat. Okay. So it looks like the city's going to take in the corn first, because we do have a demand for corn. And once that's supplied, we can start growing buffalo as well. We may actually have to get a second train that's just prioritizing doing wheat on this one. We'll circle back on that here in a little bit. Work on materials. And I think Syracuse is the one that's going to need the maintenance depot. Actually, buffalo. Let's get my maintenance depot built and a post office. That'll be helpful. 
Right. Maintenance depot's been constructed there, and I do think Albany's also going to need a, a maintenance depot if I don't have one already. I'm pretty sure I did build one. Yeah, I did. 1830, I built, a, built one of those guys. And remember, the objectives for this. We completed everything in the first section in the last video. Um, first steps. Now we're doing Boston and Albany Railroad. We need to get 30,000 citizens in Albany, so we do need to start supplying the city with some materials it needs. Um, can use a little bit of corn, can use a little bit of lumber, can use a lot of meat, and a lot of grain. Hmm. Actually, it sounds like I may need to hook up some of these connections that I have over this way, over to Albany. Um, there's a lumber yard over here. Do you guys have a need for wool by chance? If you do, I can provide you. This is zero. Hmm. Hmm. Producing beer. Got a lot of money out of that uh, cargo hall right there. We got a couple of trains coming into Albany right now. Let's zoom in on Albany real quick. Oh. Um. Deep pockets. Sure. See if I can drive them up. Have it. So, costs are subsequently reduced by 5%. He can go ahead and have that one. And I believe that is a research thing. That is... This one here. Essentially 200 research for that. Increases maximum speed on cornering. Ooh. Helpful. Would love to get to, like, the Dunham at some point. There's also... Oh, there's the warehouse. That's what I need. I'm just going to spend some innovation points on that because let's say I pick up, I bring corn or grain over to Buffalo, but I don't need either of those here or maybe I don't may not need sugar in Portland, but I can actually store sugar in Portland. We do have a demand for it, so I'm actually going to be utilizing that. I think Portland is going to get a warehouse to maybe move some goods from one area to another, and it could just be Boston in that sense. Um, this train is still waiting on loading stuff. What are y'all doing here? Production per week, 1.6 train usage. Hmm. So we do have a sugar problem, and then we're not getting a lot of sugar moved. We have to do something with that. Oh! The other guy is actually just hooked up the wool and the wood that I was talking about. So let's actually mirror that and hook up something kind of out in here. Let's also check the terrain in this area. Ah, got some high terrain. So let's see if we can just run right along the ridge here. That's not bad. I have to do a little bit of earthworks over here, but that will actually make sense for me pretty darn quick. And we'll do a rail line. Coal stop to Albany. And make sure that this one is a John Bull. One train, automatic, go for it. So we may not need all of these items per se, but we are going to be able to hook into both of them. Also, if my competitor is doing that too, I want to make sure I'm trying to get in on this also. Let's see what else is around here, because we've got Coal Stop hooked in. I can't go deeper into the Mid-Atlantic states, but if I wanted to, I could come Boston down to New York City, which isn't a terrible idea, mind you. Albany. I'm just keeping an eye on this city and seeing what we can do. So, oddly enough, no demand for wool, which is okay. Still going to supply it to them to see if, like, hey, do you need? Could also build a cloth industry in Albany. Actually purchase the industry for it and then go from there. Hmm. Is Sawyer Terminal empty? That's what I got to worry about here. Sawyer Farm does have 21. Let's see how much uh, this is bringing in. Why are you bringing only one in? May not be enough being produced there. 
And you bring in milk? Do you need milk? Not yet. 35,000 citizens at will. So... Let's take my train coming out of coal stop and see how this one is doing here. Not doing too bad, mind you. There is no hookup to the supply station here, so I may need to build another one, actually. Yeah, need to build it for all three, but don't think I'm going to be able to. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to build one essentially just for this guy. Unfortunately, I've got to spend a little bit of cash for that right there. Okay, it looks like Soil Terminal to Albany is bringing in one thing of corn. Let's see. Where the heck am I going? Clouds starting to break a little bit. We're in the summer of 1830 right now. Uh, how much did you actually make? $10,000. Okay with that. Alright, now Albany's needs are being met, but just barely. We got wood being supplied. I do like the idea of grabbing some uh, cloth, but it looks like we're just kind of kind of focus on the wood right now, because there is quite a bit of it also. If push comes to shove, I can double track it and set up essentially multiple routes going that way. I know now the green arrow, which means the city is growing. That's good. Let's double check and see where my express train-ish is going with this one. This is my Buffalo to Syracuse run. We at? Uh, loaded up and trucking. Doing really good right now. Let me keep my distance just so it's not drowning me out as I'm talking about this. Gonna stop and refill. There you go. Being resupplied, getting some oil, some sand, some water. Hopefully the folks on board will understand that. Checking in on Buffalo right now. We're at 58% of its demands being met. Need to get lumber, meat, and beer. I don't see any access to lumber right now. There's a quarry I can get to. If I wanted to go into Toronto, I absolutely can. Montreal would be best to hook up from Albany or even try to go from, like, Bangor, swinging up this great long route down into Montreal, then into Ottawa and Toronto. That just sounds like a bad idea. Wow, none of Syracuse's needs are being met right now, so they're being hampered by pretty much everything at this point. Um, do you need... Do you need clay? I don't think you do. Not yet. You might. Hmm. Where is this train right now? Center it up? Okay, it's over here. Do we not have beer to send off? This this one could take care of some beer if we had any. Issues with production. Okay, I got a feeling that we kind of, by adding these two extra stations, we may have strangled our whole, uh, we may have actually strangled off Buffalo a little bit. Whoopsies. All right, this one's still waiting for cargo to be loaded. Okay, let's go ahead and I'm just going to make that four. Just bring four down. I, I really think that this train has been sitting there for way too long and needs to get its ass into gear. All right. So this one's doing not doing well. Green stop to Portland. You are not making money anymore? What's going on here? Show me. Balance. Okay, now you're making money. Odd. The Albany to Boston line, though, since I've got two of them operating, that's going to make me more money. Um, if I want to go for, let's say, Buffalo to Syracuse, since I've got a second one on here. Let's add a second train onto the line and actually get more materials moving on it. So we've got this one coming back to Buffalo right now, and this one is here in Buffalo actually loading up. Uh, do we have anything else? Maybe beer? 
I guess not. Okay. Because this line's actually bringing quite a bit in, it makes sense to make more of it. All right, task list. We're getting we're, uh, over halfway there on this one. We have until the end of the following year to get this done, and then 30,000 citizens in Albany. So let's go check on our Albany friends. See how you're doing over here. 22,000 citizens. We really need to start cranking this one up. Uh, let's see. We got goods being brought in from both directions now. Let's see what we got coming in over here. Do you not have a maintenance depot? You have a maintenance depot, okay. That train just didn't look like it was doing pretty well with it. an expensive warehouse to get, so I'm not going to grab that just yet. Alright, next time it comes through, it will get maintenance. Uh, my coal stop to Albany train. Now here. I don't think I need any of this down at the station, just because of what it can and cannot pull from. So, grabbing the wool industry, we've got plenty here. He just went back empty. Interesting. What are you doing, buddy? Hmm. That was interesting. I don't know why the train went empty. I do think maybe a cloth industry being built in Albany would help things. So let's actually see if we can do that. Construct city buildings, a factory. So a weaving mill will take wool and turn it into cloth. It's going to cost about half what I've got in the bank right now, and I do like the idea of it. Sawmills, don't need that. Distilleries, ah! I don't think I need liquor at the moment. Dairy, furniture, ceramics. I do think a weaving mill would be a good idea, though. We can just kind of build this anywhere in the city. Oh, can't be established because we only we already have an industry here. So once we get a second, once it grows, from 40,000 inhabitants, two industries are allowed, three from 90,000. That's another reason we need to grow Albany is we need to get something else to produce here. This is... Anybody else have... Let's take a look at the flow of goods here real quick. Okay, the flow there. There's a cloth industry in New York City, really? Hello. Okay, there's a weaving mill here. Hmm. So I could, in theory, decide to hook into the clothing that's available in New York and use that, and essentially just buy that industry out from under Flamingo and see if I can utilize that to my advantage. That seems to be the way to go here. And I think I'm going to go that route. Because I don't want to go over this, or if I can go up and around. That's an, that's an alternative, too. Take this train, go around to New York City, then go up to Boston with it. Although, I mean, we're reaching this goal here right about now. And then the 30,000 citizens in Albany. I just have to let the game run for a few minutes. So let's uh, get the next little notification out of the way. I'll put a soft cut in the video and come back once Albany reaches the next stage of its goal. Just look at the impact on the landscape. Watching our beautiful locomotives rolling over our tracks makes me a little teary-eyed. Now at 27% for the task. Let's go just keep an eye on a possible little breakdown in Portland. But I do think setting up something with Jackson Farm to bring it to one of the cities is going to be a way to go. And also bringing up the white 
estate. Actually, no, the white estate is hooked up by Bangor, to Bangor with clothing. So let me hook up this real quick. And this one, I will do a third track out to there and a fourth track heading up maybe to the quarry into the lumber yard. So let's start on that real fast. There we go. Got two more train lines running. We're going to go from White down to Bangor and Taylor down to Bangor as well. I did double up the tracks here. That way, the trains can both resupply on their way in and out. And wow, it took a deep cut into the, uh, the earth to build this train line. But we did hook it up, and we were loading up a bunch of wool over to here, which means I need to probably get my hands on the weaving mills and try to purchase it. All right, easy enough. So now I'm losing a little bit of profit for it, but as long as I start bringing in wool, I'll start being able to make cloth, and the cloth can be used in a lot of other communities. So this is going to be fairly beneficial to me. Let's see. see how much this one brought in for me. Sixteen thousand right there, and now we're able to export some stuff as well. And this train, which is just mixed, so we should keyword be able to do some with that. Also, going to slap on a maintenance depot here because we do have a couple of trains that are have their terminus in Bangor. I want to make sure that they're getting maintenance here as well. This train also needing to get patched up, so hopefully we can get this guy taken care of before it heads back out. Got another seven thousand just on that. And you can make a lot of money, it looks like, just doing freight in this game. Um, I know a lot of people think, oh, if you just do passenger rail, that's a lot of things. But if you can load up and get some really good freight lines going, like bringing the cloth in to Bangor and then moving the cloth to, let's say, Portland. Nope. Because there is a demand for clothing here. And we can actually start bringing more clothing down to Portland. And push him to shove. I could probably just do a little spur line. I'll take care of this. Now we're loading up some extra mail. Oh, I got mail bags and some cloth now going to Portland. Another 16,000. Looks like that was another industry that just got hooked in as well. Let's take a look over at Syracuse. What do we have here? We have a maintenance breakdown. Front row. Okay. So it looks like we need to build a, another building here. There's going to be a maintenance post. I'm going to do another one out this way, too. They cost a little bit to do, but if we can actually get these trains maintenanced... then this would be very helpful to get this train back up and running because the condition of the locomotive is at 40%. Syracuse does not have a maintenance yard. And this is missing supplies. How are you not? Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, there we go. Make sure we get those supplies over here. We have a maintenance depot here. I guess Syracuse is going to need a maintenance depot also. Maintenance depots are not cheap, mind you. Hopefully we can get this guy fixed up. Maybe thinking about doing a saboteur here soon. There is my maximum cornering speed upgrade. His tenders, though. Oh. Hmm. I kind of want to just hold on until other things open up, if I'm 100% honest. So we'll just hold on to that and just let the game keep playing up. Ooh, that was loud. Albany is now at 73% fulfillment of demand. So we should be just cranking out a quite a bit of materials. Uh, cranking up a, a quite a bit of citizenry as well. Once we get this up to 30, we continue on with the playthrough, and I'll put a little cut in here while that happens. While we're getting close to Albany, reaching that 30,000 mark and completing this part of the game, I did add an extra 
train line. This one is a, just a full freight line that's only going to be going to the major cities. Bangor, Portland, Boston, Albany, Syracuse, and then back. Uh, Buffalo, and then back to Bangor. I wanted to do this just to make sure that the needs that are being carried by these cities are being met because the Buffalo to Syracuse line, which one of them has had a breakdown, again, they're able to supply the goods. And Boston has 24 meat in its warehouse. So in theory, I should be able to empty out all of the cloth that's needed in Boston, load up all of the meat, and then send it on its merry old way. So there we go. Now we have meat that's being loaded up in Boston. I'm going to zoom out a little bit so it'll go a little bit faster. And now it's heading on to Albany. Albany's going to be a little bit of a ways away because it's going to go through Kelly Station. And this is just a, essentially it's a freight express. Not the same as the actual proper passenger express lines, but yeah, it is what it is. Let's go ahead and uh, there we go. 30,000 people. You saw the city jump up a little bit at this point. What our rails can there we do go. for a city is quite unique. A marvel of modern technology. And suddenly we're a Albany third of the way through. Thriving. People are surging into the city and are pouring fresh money into my company. You are doing a marvelous job. Please don't stop now. Have you ever traveled to Buffalo? Using the new Erie Canal. This is not as uncomfortable as it used to be, but passengers keep complaining about how long the journey takes. Another opportunity for a profitable connection. We find ourselves in a time of rapid innovation. If we go with it, we can end up in some wonderful places. And now it's asking for corn to Boston. This said, okay, get the express line between Albany and Buffalo. Accidentally did that. Um, reach 60,000 citizens in Albany. Ouch. Okay, to increase the fulfillment demand of a city, construct a library and deliver eight loads of corn to Boston. Hey, look, I have corn. Um, yeah, I'll go ahead and bid on this. I don't have a ton to bid on. Let's see how far I can drive this guy up to. I paid way too much for this. And I got a half million dollars on that one. And for this one, you can just do... Ignore it. So we can do corn, eight loads, just like that. I'm going to do a John Bull. Freight only. In Boston. Nothing, nothing, nothing. And yeah, there we go. So I'm just going to deliver those eight, and then that's it. And I'll actually go ahead and delete that line once it's completed. Because all you need is just deliver those eight, and then, boop, you're out of here. There we go. Now, we need to work on getting Albany built up. Furthering the goal of the game. Let's take a look at our demands. We don't have any demand for that, but we do have the demand for textiles, and I know New York can provide them. So, my crazy idea would be to actually go over the other guy's rail line, or kind of box him in a New York City, come up, and then take this first track, go that way, and then do almost a, a T-junction type thing to hook up Albany and New York. But, the gridding of that, the contours... It would almost make sense to go along here and then swing down to connect to New York, just with how much the contour we get with the drop going down toward the river. Keeping that in mind, too, because look how steep this is going to the river. Now, if I can find a spot where it's not nearly as bad... No, I don't want to open the quarterly report. I wish you'd stop asking me that. I'm thinking that this would be a spot, kind of like right in here, to connect to New York. So what I think I'll have to do is build one more out, two more out. It's doable. I don't think I've got the cash for it right now. I could take a bond and actually get that. Take out a big bond for it. Um, let's see. Let's actually go for... What about 10 shares? And kind of each of these guys. 
That way I can make a little bit of cash, hopefully, in the long run. There we go. Alright. So, Albany, we gotta get them to 60. 60,000 in Albany. Okay, that's gonna pretty much require we gotta hook up New York. Because that's gonna have clothing, milk, veg, fruit. Oh, yeah. Albany's gonna become a hub. And if I can't get this stuff to. Of course, I set these tracks the wrong damn. I set the station on the wrong damn side. I can hook up all of these. Uh. The things that Albany will need. I don't know if we're going to need clay. Albany need clay at 60,000? They'll need it eventually. And there's also wooden planks, so a sawmill would be helpful at some point. Alright, let's start doing... Let's hook up New York. Now I'm going to hook it up this way. Mainly to block his access going out of the city this way. Gotta let the game run now. And in fact, I'm probably gonna take out a bond for this. So let's do that. I'm actually gonna do a pretty short term bond. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do a new rail line going coal stop to New York. This one's just going to be loading freight, and we'll do a John Bull for this guy. New rail line, going to be going New York to Albany, using a John Bull. So now we're going to be able to tap into the clothing industry and the fashion industry in New York. I've got his train station pretty much blocked off, so he can't build over me unless he tries to do something funky and go above or around. Totally fine if I do this too. We got three and three, ooh, three and four. Got a lot of mail needing to go. Wow, this one's gonna be making some monies. Also, need to make sure that Albany has a maintenance depot. Yes, it does. Perfect. Because these routes, New York may need one too. Because this coal stop to New York City line, excuse me, is going to need maintenance at some point. And these are the roads. Not the cleanest setup, mind you, but it is a setup that gets me connected to New York City and also reserves the ability for me to run up along kind of the coastline. Here's Boston. Boston has grown. Actually, now big enough here, I can make a second industry. And I'm just curious, Boston. Dost thou have need? Not yet. All right, new goods. Milk and veg. Do I have access to any of those around here? I'm going to guess no, because here's the milk and here's the veg. Syracuse has grown also. That's very helpful. Got a quarry here to provide coal. Hmm. There's more milk up here, but that's in Quebec. And I want to be I don't want to be heading up into Canada just yet, because I think there's a lot I can still do here in game. And the eight loads of corn to Boston. Let's check on where that rail line is. That was where. Was which uh, train station you went? Cooper to Boston. You've had a breakdown. Where are you? Why are you coming back? This is a problem. There we go. Okay, I guess I could have done it like that. Alright, now we have some track direction stuff we can do. Okay, this will be helpful, because if there's any trains that need to stop for maintenance, we can send trains around them. I probably could have made this section a little bit longer. And I think all of my trains just reset on that line. Crap. Hmm. Why are you carrying nothing right now, John? Why are you have no... Oh yeah, yeah. Does Bangor not need... Meat? Up there right now? Yeah, they do. Hmm.
I'm very confused by this. Huh. I guess when I redid those tracks, and this is something I noticed in the first episode too, is that we had that problem. Where... Kelly Station is being loaded to weeks. This one is running without materials. Confirm. All right, making sure that stuff is being supplied to these guys before they run off. I'm a little disappointed that the sugar farm is not supplying me with materials, mind you. Uh, let's see. Northeast Freight. Have you been... Why are you not getting maintenance? I'm really confused here. Oh, it's actually a connection bonus for uh, Jackson Farm for 165000 I think this one's broken. I may actually get rid of that train. I, 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 I can't explain it. Okay. Does Bangor need sugar? You do need sugar. Okay. Let's, uh, let's create a little spur that services, uh, I'm kind of in Portland, to be honest, because its fulfillments aren't being met that well. Uh, we're just going to do freight on this one, and we'll do a John Pull. Okay. I'm not worried about this one being on it because it's an omnidirectional track. It's the only train that's going to be on that track, so we should keyword be fine. All right. You still being willing to be loaded on stuff, that's okay. Northeast Freight is... Okay. Northeast Freight was acting really funky, so I'm just gonna kinda let that one be for a bit. Bangor, Portland, Boston. And by leave it for a bit, I mean I'm actually just gonna redo the line. We're just doing freight on this. We're doing a John Bull. And essentially, like each of the th this train line should be loading stuff up at every location. So if I go to the 167,000 came in there. And this is my new John Bull. Let's see. Nope, not that one. This is Northeast Freight. Make sure we're at least getting these things resolved. Um, a little confusing why I was doing that. Did you know that the Erie Canal wasn't finished until 1825? Boom. I'm almost a little sorry that it is to become obsolete so soon. Uh, that one, don't need it anymore. Get rid of the train, get the cash back on that. We've completed it. Uh, let's see, what else can we buy? Um, reducing oil, locomotive maintenance time by 5%. I'll absolutely take that. I'm kind of waiting until 1830. Well, damn, 1837 is a long-ass way away because it would essentially let me get more trains. We're absolutely going to unlock that for innovation points. I got this one, reducing construction costs on all and this one would actually save me a little bit on that. Uh, maintenance requests reduced. I'll take that too. Anything that's going to reduce the maintenance cost on my trains, I'm actually really on board for right now, just to make sure that these things are being done up. Yeah. Albany's at 38,000 people. We're producing these things, but now um, we do have the demand for milk and veg. It's all coming from up here. I would like to take a line out of Syracuse and run up this way with it. I don't know how I'm going to do it. Hmm. In fact, I can see the road that'll do it. I just have to get a train track to do it. Let's slap down a couple of buildings here. All right. Make sure we're... Ooh, yeah, that's a, that's a good place for it. I'm going to do another one over here. Whoa! Too far. You can kind of build this one right along the riverbank. Nope. Wrong track. Now we'll go from Cookrest along Tunnel. Really? 
No. Gotta hook it up to there. It's asking for bridges. Get that the hell out of here. Better. Not bad. Oops, got rid of that one on accident. Go ahead and take this point, bring it over here. There we go. And hey, look, one tunnel that we have to fix. That's it. And so now, instead of sending a crap load of money, we just have to essentially just cut a big old trough through the... Oh, wow, that's going to be so much fun to drive on. And runs right, right along the cliff here. And to my next station. Ain't that nice. All right. Build that. I'm going to parallel it. Now from there, I want to figure out a way to get it down into Syracuse. Because the way to do it would be, like, come up this way with it. And then come across. But it also means I have to go pretty much go underneath and around it. So, that's not going to work. wonder if I could maybe come around. No, would not fly. I essentially need to move my tracks or move my building. I don't think that's possible, though. All right, let's see what we can do here. The line's out of Syracuse. Do a spur. A lot of earthworks needed for this one. This looks like we got a. Uh, we're running pretty good right now. Tunnel? No. No tunnels. No tunnels allowed on this line. That'll work. Hang on. Okay. And the reason I wanted to check the track is so I can go inbound to Albany with this, but I have to come outbound with a different one. Let's build that. I think I wanted to track two with that. Did I? Or did I go? Did I derp? I derped. Damn it. Did I get rid of the entire section? Ah, oh, Shazbot. Okay. So I want to do, no, let's do a spur line up here off of this section. We kind of swing out this way, ish. Come along to about here. We're going to go to the second track here. Okay, I'm looking at the, the bend up there. Go ahead and get rid of that track point. Let's see how it looks actually doing it up. We've got a relatively tight bend here. Could probably move this back a little bit, honestly. There we go. A little, little bit more, uh... There we go. Yeah, 3% incline. 
kind of come along that. I can work with that. We can parallel it coming down this way. And when it reaches down here, it'll have to connect in this one. Maintaining the directions that have been established on this route. Railway buildings, absolutely gonna need a supply tower in here. Probably, I wanna say about there and there. I don't think a maintenance post will be needed, but I think a maintenance post will be needed. Ooh, where to put it? I'm actually thinking if Syracuse doesn't have one, which it does, okay. I think a warehouse would actually be needed. So let's actually do that. Let's construct an extension and construct a warehouse. Now we're going to do train line from Cookrest. Yes, we can. I did the math on this, damn it. All right, track construction. Directions. Ah. No gridirons were built. And the gridiron's right here anyway, so we should be okay on that front. Let's try this again. There we go. And we're just loading freight. John Bull, let's go. New train line, Carter Terminal to Syracuse. Freight, John Bull, let's go. Okay, now in Syracuse, let's grab our... So the warehouse allows to move one train line to another. Warehouse must be picked up in both train lines and the goods must be activated in the warehouse. Because I have it automatically done up, this is where I'm going to be able to get fancy with it. So my warehouse, am I bringing over here? I'm bringing clay, veg, and milk. Yeah, milk, veg, and clay. Go ahead and do that. So in that way, these trains, when they're starting to deliver them from Carter Terminal and from Cookrest, they'll be dropped off in Syracuse, and any freight trains, or any train lines in particular, that are needing them, like, say, Albany, can have these things delivered straight to them with the existing train lines. That's where my brain's going with this. And with my co-pilot waking up from her nap relatively early and me actually stopping recording on the first part of the video, I'm not sure how long this video has gone just yet. So I'm going to put a cut in right here. Next part of the series, I will finish up, hopefully, this task list. So I'm assuming there's going to be at least two more little sections I have to get through on this, but if I'm supplying enough to Albany, which I am, that 77% and only 60% for it to grow, I'm going to hopefully rip through this pretty darn quick. But for now, like, comment, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and all the videos that come out on this channel. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.